Hi, I'm Joey Newman, and I am here at the Hard Valley versus the North City game. The girls' team just won 65 to 49, and currently now it's the boys' team is warming up. Now I'll send it over to Brandon. Hi, I'm Brandon, and we're here with Haley Minister's mom to ask her a few questions about the game. Are you excited about this evening's game, or what all are you expecting? I'm excited to watch the boys play. I like to, I enjoy watching the guys play and the girls cheer and everybody dance. So I'm, I'm out to support the kids. After last Friday's close victory but a loss, um, are you excited and you think the boys will be able to prevail this afternoon or do you think we might face another tough game like last Friday? I think they'll be able to prevail. I think they should have prevailed last game. I think they were right there. So with the support from the from the student body, I think they'll prevail. As long as they're allowed to cheer them on. Alright, thanks Joey. I'm Nathan White here from WHVA, the Hawkeye, and we're here at the Hardin Valley Gym where the Hardin Valley Hawks basketball team are playing the North City Panthers. I'm here with Gavin Green, uh, quarterback of the Hardin Valley football team, who is also a member of the student section. Welcome, Gavin. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's looking like a good game so far. Uh, right now we're down four, but I think we should be able to make a comeback and uh, get the win. Yeah, so tonight's starting lineups were for the Hawks. You have at center number 14, Tyler Thompson. Power forward number four, Tyler Dern. At forward, Hunter Cannon number 11. Guard number one, Caleb Clevenger. And at guard number 24, Blaine Shockley. The Hawks are a very senior laden team this year, so we should we should have, we're having a decent year so far. What do you think of the team so far this year, Gavin? I think we've uh, we've played well, had some close losses, but it'll pick up come playoff time for sure. Get Definitely. Yeah, the Hawks suffered a defeat last week in overtime to rival Farragut in overtime, but look to bounce back this week against uh, Lenore City. Nathan White here from uh, WHVA back here at Hardin Valley where the Hawks are taking on the Panthers of Lenore City. I'm here with Nabil. Uh, Nabil is a sophomore post on the Hawks basketball team. He's on the JV team. So, And the Hawks have uh, climbed back into the game to make it a five-point game here with uh, five and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. The Hawks' offense has struggled a little bit here, but the defense has kept them in it. So, Nabil, tell us uh, your thoughts on the game so far. So far, it's been a little rough offensively, and we need to keep up working hard on defense and we'll come back and I think we'll win it. Yeah, definitely. And what do you think of uh, Coach Galloway's uh, platoon system where he rotates players frequently? I think it's a good system because on offense we're running so much and on defense we're pressing them the whole game and they get tired real quick so we have to get our subs in and just keep the game going. Yeah, definitely. Like one advantage with this is the other teams get tired quickly and so that even though we may be trailing in the first half there have been a lot of games where the Hawks have rallied in the second half to come back and win. Yep. Especially when you have a, a bunch of seniors on the team like this year's team does, especially with Wayne Shockley, who started for the past three to four seasons. So, I think, so right now the uh, Little Horse City just hit two free throws, and now they're up seven. Tyler Dern gets it in the post, hits the layup, to cut it to lead to five. Tyler Dern's been a great player tonight for the Hawks. He's scored, rebounded, just done everything that he can to keep the Hawks in it. Now we got to get, the Hawks need to get more production from the guards a little bit. Blaine's hit a couple clutch threes tonight, but we, they just need more offense in general. What do you think the Hawks can do to uh, do better on offense? I think they need to work the ball down a little more and get more offensive rebounds because they have a lot of height on this team. Exactly. That was what we were talking about earlier in the first quarter. Is the Hawks the Hawks offense is, their front court is big for the Hawks. And the North City has very few players over six feet tall. So if the Hawks can keep getting the ball down low, that's where they have the advantage. At the end of the half, the Hawks are down 43 to 40. It's been a great game already, but it's only going to get better. Now will send down to Lakin for the halftime performance. I'm Keegan McLean, and I'm here with Hawkeye Newspaper. Uh, right now next to me is Emily Stone, and I'm going to ask her a few questions about this, the game. So, uh, Emily, tell me a little bit about the game. What, what do you think is going on right now? I think our boys are doing a great job right now. I think they just need to pick up the hustle and pass the ball more, and I think we'll get a W tonight. 
What do you think about future games? Are they doing a little better or you know, not sure about how they're going to do in future games? I'm not sure how they're going to do, but I think once district play comes around, they'll get it together in their head that we need to win. This is Brandon and I'm here with Miss Mormon. <laughs> Tell me exactly, do you think your dance your dance team halftime performance went well? Yes, I think that they did really well. They performed very sharp. They hit their motions, they hit their tricks. It was totally on point and I was really pumped and excited because it's great practice for us going to nationals next weekend. So, so make sure you stay posted for nationals. Also, do you think the dance time halftime performance at all affects the game in any way? if the dance team does like a really high energy routine that gets every everybody pumped to where they're saying things like you know I can't believe they did that crazy trick and things like that that it definitely helps the student section stay pumped through halftime instead of just sitting down and getting bored before this last half yeah, and then plus it's contemporary songs that are really upbeat yeah all right, thanks, Ms. Mormon. Nathan White back here for WSVA at the at HV, at Horn Valley Academy where the Hawks are in the, are taking on the North City here in the second half in a uh, varsity basketball game. And the Hawks have really uh, fought back here in the second half to close the gap to only one point game. And that's mainly been due to Tyler Dern down low, who is having a great game for the Hawks. And he he's scoring and getting rebounds just like a, right there. Another great example, a great play by Tyler Durden. He is re getting offensive rebounds and just playing great. And the Hawks, have, their the Hawks' defensive intensity has increased. They're playing with more effort. This is the Hawks team that everyone wants to see and that we expect of the Hawks. Another turn turnover forced by the Hawks' defense there. Hawks' tra zone trap defense has really affected the North City's offense. Then they haven't been able to get much going from the end of the first half to the first four or five minutes of this half. Interesting no call there by the refs. Looked like Cle Clevenger was fouled on his way to the hole, but it's okay. The North City hits the three. The North City takes the lead again by two points. Jacob Shotman from way downtown. What a shot by Jacob Shotman from way downtown. Jacob Shotman can shoot with the best of them. What a shooter. That was a big bucket for the Hawks to keep momentum on their side after the North City had hit a three. And they take the lead back by one here. The North City is unable to answer with, and Caleb Clevenger has the board. Up ahead to Tower Thompson, who gets fouled and is heading the free throw line for two shots. Hawks have played great this half. They've played with great poise, energy, and teamwork. With 40 seconds left in the third quarter, the Hawks are winning 58 to 55 after Seth, Seth Long's free throw. Back in action here in the fourth quarter for the Hawks, five minutes to go. Tie game, 69-69. Hawks going with Aaron Dyke still at point guard. Reston, Blaine Shockley, Caleb Clevenger probably the final three minutes try and keep them fresh so they can hit some late baskets for the Hawks. And the North City is fouled and heading to the line here. And it looks like Tower Durden's down on the ground, but he's getting up. That's, that's big for the Hawks. We don't need him going down. It's Tower Durden's hurt. Looks like an ankle or injury. Yep. Ankle, probably just a twisted ankle. Uh, trainer's out on the floor to take a look at him. As he walks it off, looks like he will most likely be okay. Yeah. But that's something you need to look at. I mean, feet are a big thing in basketball. You got to be able to move. Yeah. So hopefully he's okay with that. Yeah, he needs to be able to move and cut and plant, especially for him because he has to go up and get rebounds and use that as athleticism to out jump uh, the North City players. With him out, that's a big blow because now we're bringing in Caleb Davis. He's a good player. He just doesn't have the athleticism that uh, Tyler has. And still, Blaine Shockley and Caleb Clevenger on the bench right now for the Hawks. So That's, well, not, that's not a huge shock. I mean, you're going to rest them for the last couple of minutes. Yeah. You just got to save them. Save your best players, honestly. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully the Hawks can stay, keep it close here. And the North City hits a huge three to make it a four-point lead with four and a half minutes to go. Hopefully the Hawks can keep it close here for another minute or two. And a big shot here for Caleb Davis. Uh, gets his own rebound. 
and the shot is blocked by Lenore City. At the end of the game, the Hawks lost 81-90, to sadly, but it was a great game all along. We fought hard throughout the entire game, trying to push through the last final seconds. I'm Joey Newman, here with Seth Long. Seth, how'd you feel about the game? Even though you lost, it felt like it was a great game overall. Uh, I think we uh, keep up our intense anymore and just play harder next time. The entire student section got wild whenever you blocked that kid from the North City. How'd you feel about that? I felt good. I was just trying to stop him from making the layup. Thank you, Seth. Great game.